Oh, hi there. I just wanted to share something which has really helped me over the years. My teacher taught it to me in school. Uh, shout out to Miss Repton. Um, we got on so well. Anyway, so it's to do with aperture and it was just a really handy way to remember like when you're at a job and things are fast moving, sometimes you want to let more light in. But um, as a beginner, it's like remembering what to do and, and or you want a shallower depth of field and you've got to try and work out with a lot going on what you need to change, what settings you need to change and all the rest of it. So, of course, um, changing your f-stop and therefore your aperture is going to determine how much light gets into the camera um, through the lens. And one really good way to remember this is the smaller the number, the bigger the hole in the lens. So, excuse me. Sorry, I am hoping to get another um, a proper vlogging camera, but I'm still using my phone. So sometimes the video quality might not be great or the sound quality, but hopefully it will be improved soon. So stick with me. Um, yeah, so so basically just remember the smaller the number, the smaller the f-stop number, the bigger the hole in the front of the lens. And therefore, the more light you're going to get into the lens and um, the shallower the depth of field will be. And a really good way of remembering this with the depth of field is, as you can see, bigger the number, smaller the hole, smaller the number, the bigger the hole. Shallow depth of field, where you've got a big hole in the front of the lens, because you're not only using the sharp, strongest part of the lens in the middle, but you're also using the curvature of the lens, the aberrations in the lens, and all of the softer areas around the edge of the lens. If you look at your lens, it, you've got that dome shape. And this was such a handy way for me to remember that that was going to give me a shallower depth of field, so more out of focus. Um, and of course, your bigger number, smaller hole, is just using the really strong part of the lens in the middle, and therefore you're going to have a wide depth of field. So lots in focus from foreground through to the background so i hope that helps anyone struggling to remember i remember when i first started doing weddings i would be snapping away and then i'd be like oh smaller number be a hole right and then, and, then. and then i would go through that in my mind so that i would know what to do and what to change and it really helps so i hope it helps you guys take care bye